a man who was known as the leader of all the martyrs, a man who was known as the lion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the lion of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was a fierce man. He was feared and respected in Quraysh. Who was this man? Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib. He was the uncle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yet he was similar in age. Extremely close in age. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Hamza radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He was a very good looking man and he was well respected, well built. And he was so closely related to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They used to respect each other. They played with each other as they grew up. And he knew that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a very noble and honored person. He would go and he would go on long expeditions. So during one of these trips, it so happened that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in Mecca and Abu Jahl met him. Abu Jahl was in a foul mood that day for some reason. And he cursed him like he had never cursed him before. Verbally, he didn't touch him, he just kept on cursing him and his ancestors. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa remained silent, not saying one word back. So when Hamza returned, some of the women began to basically uh, taunt him. What type of leader are you of the Banu Hashim when your own nephew is insulted and no one stands up to defend him? So he said, what happened? So they said, Abu Jahl stood there for 15, 20 minutes, however long, just haranguing him, just insulting him. And not one person stood up to defend him. And Hamza's blood began to boil. And so he basically lost it. And he marched to the Kaaba, still with his bows and arrows and hunting uh, equipment. And he marched straight to Abu Jahl and took his bow and smacked him across the face with his bow. Caused a huge gush of blood to come up. And he said, how dare you curse my own nephew? And then he didn't even realize what he was saying and he blurted out, and I too am a follower of his religion. He didn't plan this. It was just anger. In Uhud, they massacred the dead. His uncle Hamza, they cut his nose off, they cut his ears off, they ripped his liver out. He took a bite from his liver and spat it on the floor. Sahaba said when the Prophet of Allah seen Hamza, we never seen him cry like he cried when he seen his uncle Hamza. Of course, this is a difficult, difficult thing for the Prophet as it is. To lose someone like Hamza is not easy. There were a little over 70, about 72 or 73 people that died in Uhud from the Muslims. Amongst them Hamza, and some of the, the noble, some of the most well-known Sahaba that passed away in the day of Uhud, Hamza radiallahu ta'ala anhu, is the chief of those martyrs and he's the chief of all martyrs of all time. All of the shuhada will line up behind him on the day of judgment.